I'm Mark Harris, welcome to the Spectre's Real Estate Market Report. In this update, we talk about the property market settling into a new pace and what this means for the economy. We've been watching signs that tell of a cooling market since the start of the year, and the latest stats have solidified this. The market has shifted and the new norm is more moderate price increases and sales activity. Last month delivered a slowed median price increase of 7.9%, a 33.5% decrease in the number of sales and a longer sale time of 36 days. So after COVID and the interest rate fuel growth, the urgency has gone out of the market. But is it just a market reset or the start of a recession? The RBNZ has forecast an 8% fall in house prices this year, which takes us back to August 2021 levels, so not a great cause for concern. With the easing of lending rules in June and other measures to curb inflation in place, the market should stabilise rather than reverse. For property sellers, the lower to mid-market will see the most competition for the buyer's dollar, but high quality, unique properties in great locations will continue to attract plenty of inquiry and good prices. A great example of this kind of property is this beautiful Neo-Georgian residence in Auckland. Designed by Frank Noel Bramford in 1912, it has an incredible ornate style that is in close proximity to the city's best schools, restaurants and boutiques. Check it out on our website. Congratulations to Stephanie McMeekin and Ben Terry on the significant sale in Queenstown. It's not hard to see why the new owners were taken by its intimate living spaces, creative style and extraordinary surrounding environment. That's it for today, but make sure to check out our latest property style magazine with performance and wellbeing coach Gemma McCaw on the cover. Read it online or pick up a copy from one of our offices.